I believe it's the 11th of December, I think. Uh, and before we get started with today's Advent calendar beer, I just want to give a quick shout out to this, to this, uh, this beer here. Uh, about a month ago, three weeks ago, I took a trip down to uh, Stavanger and visited uh, Alexander and Bjarta at Salikat and uh, brewed a beer together with them. I imported some hops uh, through my family uh, to Norway, um, some Rawaka, which is a hop which is almost impossible to get. Um, and we brewed that beer, Pavlova, um, to, with some Enigma and uh, Citra as well. Um, and I haven't even tasted it yet. This can is a prop can. Uh, that's just like a test for the label that I printed out on my own printer. So it's not the real thing. Um, I am super looking forward to tasting it tonight, but it's just come to all of these uh, Vienmanapulets uh, around uh, Norway. So the chances are, uh, if you live in a major city, today or, or Saturday or Monday is a day that you can, you can uh, go out and get it. And it's going quickly, so I'll recommend doing that sooner rather than later. Uh, yeah, I might, I might do a video and... Um, post some tasting notes about that, obviously not blind, uh, on uh, the Erlus Marking uh, group and on the on the YouTube channel. I won't obviously do it in the Advent Calendar group, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested. All right, on with it. Man, that, that box is not faring well. <laughs> I hope we can make it through it to the end. I think it doesn't really like being taken vertical and taken horizontal and then ta being taken vertical again at day after day after day. It's like falling apart bit after bit. All right, let's dig in. Sort of uh, another straw gold beer. If I didn't know better, I'd say that's a, the color of IPA. <laughs> oh, yes, okay, the attack is, it has come back. I, I can smell things without even going near the beer. I'm smelling hops. Lots of hops, tons of hops. Good gracious, alrighty. We have a some kind of IPA here. Mm. Super juicy. Uh, I'm getting like lighter tropical fruits, melon, um, and, and a lot of citrus, like, like orange citrus, like big juicy orange citrus. Not a whole lot more than that. I'm getting a little bit of a uh, yeasty esters here, uh, on the side. I really love when people manage to pull that off together with the hops. A little bit of yeasty esters on the side. Maybe it gives it some pithiness. Maybe it gives it a little bit of extra grapefruitiness. It, it it's it's one of the things I love about New England IPAs is that it gives you that freedom to play with uh, with yeast. But yeah, it's, it's just it's all uh, orange juice and a little bit of light melon, some pithiness. I managed to tip the beer over on the table over there when I put it over there. That was not the best idea in the world. Didn't spill too much, it's all right. Um, not a whole lot more to say. I mean, obviously that would suggest that there's quite a lot, quite a bit of cit citra hops in this. Can't pick anything else out, so citra bomb. What could that be? Nice full body without I don't think there's lactose in there. I don't think there's lactose in there. I think that that is a naturally full body. I think it's just a high mash temperature. I think this is a straight uh, Citra Session New England IPA. No lactose, no funny stuff. It's just Monkey Brews yeast, Citra, and really good brewing. That makes me think I can actually guess the beer, which is ambitious, and I've been wrong a lot, so maybe not a good idea, but Hoptopia with Citra? Could it be? Wormhole. Never even heard of it. So uh, could not possibly have guessed that one. And it's apparently a double dry hopped oat cream session IPA, which uh, that sounds, sounds right to me. I honestly, I could not get the, no, the oat, no, oat flavors at all, but that tends to be a bit of a theme for me, even when things like say they're oat cream, like Sally Cart's had one and Here's one here, and I've tasted quite a few from other half. I don't tend to be able to actually taste the oat. It's more of a, it's more of a, 
uh, mouthfeel thing. No words there for me. But that association hits hard and straight away I'm thinking of the half on the on the flavour. There's a, there's a flavour to it. It doesn't taste like oat, but there's a flavour to it, to an oat cream thing. But I got that after reading it, so you never know if you're actually getting it or if it's all power of suggestion. Very likely it is just all power of suggestion. Either way, no, that's that's uh, that's awesome stuff. Uh, did it actually have lactose in it? It did. It had lactose in it, so I was wrong about that. And maltodextrin, so playing all the all the tricks here. It works for it. The body's great. It's not uh, it's not a hop, uh, humble shake thing where the body is is fucking enormous, uh, but it's it's like. It's another beer where you probably couldn't tell it was 4.7% if you were drinking it properly blind. What, what hang on a second, what, what about the hops? Does it say? Swing and a miss. Amarillo and Vic Secret. Now Amarillo, Amarillo is interesting. I, I get like, I, man, I get the weirdest notes from Amarillo. There's a grapefruit thing and a melon thing and a lychee thing that I get with Amarillo. Don't know where they were. Uh, Vic Secret to me is all pith. It's like it's like the the immediate giveaway for Vic Secret to me is is when it, it it just tastes like like grapefruit pith or orange pith, mostly grapefruit pith. And I said yeastiness and pithiness. Now that I go back and smell for it, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I couldn't get it blind though. I couldn't get it blind. That made me just think think yeast. It didn't make me think hops. Knowing what's in that, and being able to go back and identify the flavors of the Vic Secret and the, and the Amarillo actually makes me appreciate this more. It's really coming alive for me, and I really am enjoying it. Uh, that's like, I'm I am mid high fours here. I I absolutely love this. I think it's a fantastic beer. I hope you're loving it as much as I am. That's great stuff. All right. I'm going to go sit back and enjoy the rest of this can that I didn't spill. See you tomorrow.